In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rotating glitch text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's jump into Premiere and begin the tutorial. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a new sequence created, we can first just begin by going to the type tool and we'll just select our sequence and we'll type out a word or a phrase of your choice. Then from there, we can just go up into effect controls, go into the text and we can change the font. So I'm going to change mine to monster at bold. Then you can increase the size of this. So really fill the screen with this. Then we'll just center this up using center align, center text vertically, and then in appearance, I'll change this to white. Press OK, and then just center this up in transform. If that's not quite right, by the way, then feel free to pull this down until it's in the center. And then just drag that to the very beginning. So. As you can see, I've got this basic text and it's not really doing anything at the moment. So from here, we'll go down into video motion and you can see you've got position, scale, rotation, anchor point. So if I rotate the rotation, you can see it's off a little bit and that is because the anchor point is a little bit too low. So I'm just going to move the anchor point up a touch. And now when I rotate that, that looks a bit better. So at roughly one second in, I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on rotation. Then we'll go six frames to the right or seven or eight. And we'll just rotate this around. Then we'll hold for a few, create a brand new keyframe on rotation. And then we'll go back to zero. So when we play this back, you can see it rotates and then it rotates again. Now, if that isn't quite dramatic enough for you, then feel free to increase the rotation so we can increase up to 40 and then increase it on the second frame again. So rotation, rotation, and then I'm just going to add more of a hold. So I'm just going to drag those second two keyframes over. There we go. So from here, now we need to go ahead and create the, the echoing, the glitch echo effect. So in order to do that, I'm just going to drag this layer onto video layer four. Then I want to make a copy of this. So I could either go command C, move over, command V, or if you're on Windows, that is control C, control V. Or on Mac, you can hold down option and then drag the text down onto video layer three to make a copy. Now, from here, you want to go halfway through those first two keyframes, create a brand new keyframe on rotation, and then we'll just drag that forward a little bit. So go one keyframe forward, one frame over. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a delay there. So it hangs back a bit and then it catches up. And then we'll just do the same thing on the second set of keyframes. So halfway through, new keyframe, one frame over, and move that across. So when we play this back, you can see there's a little bit of a delay there. Now, next up, we'll go effects and search for tint. Drop tint onto video layer three. So that is the copied text. And we'll go map white two, and we'll make this red. So we need RGB, red, green, blue. Now we need to just go ahead and do the same thing for our green channel. So copy that, so option, drag down, We'll change the red to green. And then we'll go back into these keyframes and we'll take that middle keyframe and we'll move it one frame over to the right. So now we're seeing that green coming through and we'll do the same thing again on the second set of keyframes. So we'll drag that one frame over. Now when we play this back, you can see we've got this nice delay. So we just need to do the same thing for our blue channel. So make a copy of the green channel We'll map the green to blue this time. And then same thing again, we'll just go into those keyframes and we'll just delay that by another frame. If you feel like it's suddenly snapping away at the end a little bit too much though, then feel free to just push that last keyframe on the blue channel over to the right a little bit. And let's see how that looks. That's a bit better, although it could do with a little bit more work. So push that over again. There we go. And then we'll just do the same thing on the previous channels as well. So on the green channel, we'll just accentuate that last keyframe. We'll pull that over to the right a touch. 
and the same thing on that first set. Let's see how this looks. There we go. And then we'll just do the same for the red as well. So we just zoom into those rotation keyframes and we just nudge that over to the right a little bit. This is just preventing that little whip that we were seeing at the end. So it was just suddenly disappearing. This is just adding a little bit more movement to that rotation. Now, before I carry on with the video, I'm first just going to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. And in particular, I'd like to talk about the Premiere Pro course. It's a three and a half hour course and it teaches you everything you need to know about Premiere. So this covers import, organization, creating titles, green screen, multicam and so much more. So if you're interested in watching the Brooker Films Premiere Pro course, then click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. And then of course, once you've done that, you could also add another round of Lumetri back on top so we can drop Lumetri back on. So that looks really nice. But at the moment, we're not really getting that glitching effect. It just looks like we have four different text layers. So this is where we need to go into our blending modes and change the top two of the glitching colors to a screen or an ad. So if we go onto video layer three, go to video, opacity, change the blend mode from normal to screen. As you can see, we're now starting to get more of a glitch. We'll do the same thing on video layer two, blend mode, screen, then the bottom layer can stay on normal. And there you go, we're getting this really nice effect now. Of course, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of a blur onto each layer. So if we go into effects and search for blur, we can drop Gaussian blur on video layer three and we can add a blurriness of four. We'll make that five actually. Then we'll just copy Gaussian Blur, go to the layer below, and we'll change this to 10. Then we'll go to the bottom layer, paste that in, and we'll make that 15. So red has five blurriness, green has 10, blue has 15. So that should just help to soften that up a little bit as you can see. Of course, as well, you could actually add some directional blur on as well. So because this is rotating this way, going up across, you could go directional blur and you can increase the blur length. So increase that and then you can change the direction if you wanted to. And then you just go through to the point where it starts moving. We'll pull the blur length down to zero. Brand new keyframe on blur length go through to the point where it stops, new keyframe on zero, and then halfway through that will increase the blur length all the way up to around that 40 number. And then we'll just do the same thing on the next set of movements. So new keyframe on zero, just as it starts to move. And then when that finishes, new keyframe, halfway through, pull that up to 40. Then we could just copy the direction of blur onto each different layer. So we'll go up onto the green layer, we'll paste that in. Then we'll go to the red layer again, we'll paste that in. And there you go, we're getting this nice streak effect this time now. So with all of that completed, I would just highlight all of those layers, right click and select nest. And we can call this glitch text. So because this is now in its own nested sequence, we can just pull the scale down or we can move the position. We could do what we want with this, or we could even add some movement onto this. So pull this down to 70, new keyframe on scale, go to the end, increase up to 100. So we've got a nice scale in as this is rotating around. But there you go, that is how you would complete this rotating glitch text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.